Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, I would like to welcome you to my office where I'm about to crack open a copy of Harry Potter House Cop Competition from a game from the Op. Thank you, the Op, for uh, providing a review copy of this game. This has my interest because it is um, the first heavier Harry Potter game to come out. There is the Hogwarts Battle deck building game. Well, this is a worker placement game featuring the four houses of the Harry Potter wizarding world. And I'm really looking forward to checking this one out. So this is, again, by the op. I will note right from the start, this is a really full box. You can tell there's going to be a lot of cardboard in there because it does not actually shut all the way when you get it. That is intentional. I have to assume there's going to be some cardboard to punch. Um, you're going to see this at the same time I am for the first time. Before I dive into that, I just want to point you over to tabletopbellhop.com. That's our main webpage where you can find all kinds of content like videos like this, uh, unboxing videos, some actual play videos, game reviews, and answers to your gaming and game night questions. If you got some kind of gaming question, gaming or game night question, feel free to send it to us at questions.tabletopbellhop.com, and then we'll answer it on the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, which you can find on your podcatcher of choice. Also, if you've um, been watching our videos, you'll notice the progression of um, improvements we've been making. There's quite a few tonight that we've added some new, some new, a new camera angle that uh, you'll get to see, and some improved lighting, and that is in part thanks to our Patreon patrons. If you want to tip your bellhop, you just have to head to tabletop bell or sorry, patreon.com slash tabletop bellhop. Enough help motion, we're gonna crack this open. So first I'm just gonna cut the shrink off it. So one of the things I've noticed the op has been doing with their newer Harry Potter license games are these sleeves, which I don't know why. If there's something that they needed to add the Wizarding World logo or something, but these are on all of their new games. And I can't even get it off. So we're gonna take that off too. So yes, yeah, see there's like this sleeve that shows house comp competition. I'm not sure, I have no idea what that was, but here's the actual sides of the box in the four house colors. All right, so here you go. We're gonna take a look at what's in the box. Cracking open Harry Potter house cup competition. All right, rule book right on top. Kind of what you expect to find. Flip through this quickly. You can see the four different houses, so everyone's gonna play a different house. There's this interesting thing with these uh, vials here that looks kind of cool. I gotta say, it looks like a Euro. <laughs> How to play, this is the thickest rule book I've seen today through these unboxing videos I've been doing. So we are looking at 10 pages total for the rules. And then there's some additional information. Then we have uh, lesson cards detailed, game board location details, so a bunch of appendixes here, appendices, location details. That's interesting, a place to put your scores, your champions from your games. So instead of having to box top, you can do it right in the rule book. And then we have other games, other products in the um, Wizarding World series of games. Be nice if there was a reference or something on the back. That seems like a waste of space to me. Then we move on to the board. Now, unfortunately, I don't know if the entire board is going to fit in camera here. I am using a different camera today. And yeah, it's a little too zoomed in, but you can basically see it all here. All right, we're good. We can, we can see it all. Uh, like I said, looks like a Euro. That's for sure. Lots of iconography. We got the professor's office, the classrooms, the library. Looks like worker placement spots here and what you'll get for going there. Um, there's also some stuff. There's lessons here. Yeah, so basic lessons, advanced lessons, easy challenges and hard challenges. So I'm going to guess these are things we're going to have to complete. Some kind of round marker on the bottom. Single-sided board. Then we get to punch boards. I say we're, we're looking pretty here. You got some nice stuff here. This is almost falling out as it is. I don't know what this is. Uh, unfortunately, the blues on there are not going to go well. Uh, we have tokens, so we'll throw down the... Uh, we've got Mr. Potter, Hermione, and... Hey, this just shows how much I know Harry Potter. I'm drawing a blank on that character's name. So, obviously, the, the Gryffindor, Ron. Yes, Ron Weasley. That's where you go. 
We have those for the different houses here. There's a nice Hedwig token here. First player token. Uh, looks like we're going to build something. We'll just throw this down here so you can see kind of the instructions here. We are, we are going to be constructing something to hold stuff. Uh, some of this is punched so well it's just falling out. And we have actual plastic test tubes. It's a nice touch. Some actual plastic test tubes here. There are a total of four of those, which will go into the test tube holder. Note they are plastic, not glass. So we have four of those. Then we have player boards, which we'll see if this fits, but these have a notches, which is nice to see. Look at that, nice uh, two layer boards. So we have one for each house. I just got that upside down. Uh, we've got the three different characters here. So you have uh, Krabby and Goyle, Crab and Goyle and Draco. Got one for each house. Again, I don't know what's going to go in those notches, but I do dig the fact it's a 3D board. That's a nice touch. Then we have all kinds of bits in here. Wow, look at all this stuff. So we have crystals in each of the house colors. The green may not show up well, but we'll see. Each in their own Ziploc bag. These are like little gems, actually. Little gems. And I know, from what I know of this game, that these are going to go into these test tubes and slowly fill up for different scoring levels. We have blue ones, which I will not throw in front of the camera down here. Yellow ones. And red ones. So yeah, I'm just going to take a few of these so you can kind of see them. Those are nice. They're nice gem shaped. Really nice little pieces. Those are those are nice. A little, little small, but I like it. That's so much cooler than cubes. So we have that in the four house colors, which go with the four test tubes for measuring your score. Uh, then we have, again, the, I expected more punch boards. We have all kinds of little tokens here. Uh, unfortunately, the books are blue, so they're not going to show up well on my camera. But I'm trying to figure out how to open this. They're in a tube of plastic. There we go. We're like in an envelope. It's kind of strange. So what we have is books and hats. So we have books and hats. And again, I apologize. The books are blue. Um, my camera set up to hide blue. So we have books and hats. It's a hat there. Whole bunch of those, which when we saw the player board, those look like the main resources you would need. Weird little tuck box baggie, though. Then we got wooden bits. Um, I What is that supposed to be? Maybe someone could tell me what that is supposed to be, because I don't know. Is that a cup? That must be a cup. Oh, wait, I see a notch. Here we go. Those are going to go in these. Ta-da. Those notch onto the boards to track various things. So I don't know what that's supposed to be. I guess that's a host cup, probably. That looks like some kind of chalice. Maybe it goes this way. Yeah, there we go. We have a chalice. All right. So that's why this is notched. Just fit these in. Fair. There are a ton of those. Whole bag full. All right. That's it for that main stuff. Then we have square cards. I got to admit, disappointment right away. Look at that. That that That's some warped cards right out of the box. That's a little disappointing. Hopefully, they're the kind that will bend back quickly. Gonna cut it. So we have four reference cards that reference the different icons. We then have location cards, it looks like. We'll get this one out of the way. We have location cards. They've got artwork on them as well as some symbols. We'll see. We'll throw some of these down here so you can see them. Again, the blues, unfortunately, are not going to show up well. That one I probably shouldn't even bother putting down. 
a little too much blue on that one. Some have multiple locations. So you go, a little deck of uh, location cards. Um, they are sorted by color on the back. So we have green ones, purple ones have twos, and threes. So these are probably locations that unlock as the game goes on, a way it would progress. So again, we have ones, twos, and threes, except the threes are blue. Finally, we have a large stack of cards here. Large stack, Hobbit size cards. Should be saying uh, home elf size cards. I don't know if there's there a Hobbit equivalent in the Wizarding World. I am not a huge aficionado. I would have to get my daughters in here for them to tell you all about it. Uh, so we have lessons. A whole bunch of lessons. Wow. Uh, a whole bunch of red lessons. So you know what we're going to do is we're going to move this aside. So I'm going to start making some piles here. We have purple basic lessons. There are a lot of each. Oh, these have a nice linen finish. I don't know if you hear I'm going to hold this new mic. Can you hear that? These are not going to slide everywhere. Oh, I like these cards. I like the consistency of these cards. Then we have challenges. These are all easy challenges. I didn't see hard challenges. They're all easy. Oh, basic. Oh, I'm blind. So there you go. Four different sets of cards. So you have basic lessons and advanced lessons. And then on the other side, they show some kind of requirements. Pretty simple looking. And then the challenges, again, show some requirements. Study for newts. And on the back, and then an easy challenge probably has less requirements. Oh, I've upside down. This one is purple, so hopefully it'll show up. Significant number of each of these. These are the easy challenges. Hard challenges. It's a significant deck. A lot more basic lessons than advanced. Uh, those, that's the basic deck. And that's the advanced deck. And that would be it. A whole bunch of cards with requirements. Looks like it's going to be pretty basic. You're going you're gonna to go around the thing. You're going to pick up various... Items, either magic or knowledge. You're going to get potions and charms. You're going to have to try to fulfill various requirements to get points for your house and see which house wins. That's how much I know. Again, I have not read the rules, so I don't know exactly how the game plays. There is a turn order on the back here. First you go to classes, and then you try to complete challenges. So a worker placement game in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter universe. I don't know if this one's out yet or if it's coming soon, but it is by the Op, or USA Opoly, as they were once known. Their first venture into a Harry Potter-themed Euro game. Box inserts serviceable, I think is probably the, the best way I could put it. Uh, these fit well here. These, if they weren't warped, would fit well in here. But unfortunately, like I said, my, my cards came out not in the greatest shape. So if I actually turn them all so they're all facing the same direction, they'll fit in here. Um, all the rest of the stuff, though, is just baggies. Toss them in here. Everything's kind of loose. This thing I'm going to get rid of and replace by it with a real Ziploc bag. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, I'll probably store the crystals in these. All right, what else do we have? We have more crystals. Um, so the biggest thing that's taking up the space in the cardboard is whatever this, this holder thing is. And I really hope that fits in here once it's built. Actually, let's go bonus. Bonus time. Feel free to skip forward to my final thoughts if you wish, but I'm going to build this because I want to see if it fits in the box. Because I think that's important to know. We're going to put this together quickly and see if I can get this back into the Harry Potter box. So I have to thank uh, Tech2674 in our chat room for pointing out that yes, this is out, so you can purchase this game. I was not sure. Thanks, Tech. All right, so 
first punch out all the pieces and the letters in the back, put slot A into slot A, and then slot B into slot B. Sounds simple enough. Except I can't see the A slots because they're not actually punched out yet. And where's A on here? Oh, on the back. Well, it's flimsy right now, but hopefully. No, nope, the other way. A into A this way. And then B onto B this way. You get a bonus board game box insert build, basically. Has a lot of Bs. B onto B. Oh, there goes an A. It's definitely not a tight fit. This is like barely holding itself together. Um, C on to C. This should give it a bit of structure. Oh, face down. And D on to D. Though I will say this will come apart pretty easy once it's assembled. All right, then what you would do is you would have your test tubes in here, and then this shows your scoring. So as these filled with crystals, you would see what the different scores for the different hoses are. But what I want to know is that actually fit? Doesn't look like it. I take all of this out. Yeah, okay, it fits. We're good. Perfect. Good to know. And then what I would do is put the crystals into the different test tubes instead of tossing them back in. But for now, as we are just putting this stuff together, I'm not going to bother putting this back in. We'll make sure I get the rest of this stuff though. Here, I'm going to really quickly punch this so I don't have to put this back in either. What I don't see is anywhere to put these. Like, there's no baggie or anything. It didn't come with any baggies. So slightly disappointing there. All right, hoses, hoses, these. Need to go in right. next. Yeah, it fits nice and snug now. There is one punch board still in there, so. Do I have to match up the house colors here? Blue and blue. Ta-da. All back in the box. So there you go. That's what you get in a copy of Harry Potter Host Cup Competition. The first Harry Potter worker placement game from the op. Taking a step up from the... Um, deck building games and dice games and card games that have been out already. Uh, uh, more of a Euro themed Harry Potter game, worker placement, uh, collect resources to fulfill goals and challenges. Looks pretty cool. Uh, it definitely looks like a dry Euro, I gotta admit, which is kind of amusing. This was neat. I'm looking forward to checking this one out. Um, when I do check it out, you'll be able to find my thoughts on our blog at tabletopbellhop.com and you can listen to our thoughts on the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast which you can find on the podcatcher of choice, your podcatcher of choice. If you dug this video, it'd be awesome if you headed over to patreon.com slash tabletop bellhop and consider tipping your bellhop. I am Mo Tuzano of the Tabletop Bellhop. Good night and game on.